What's up y'all, how y'all doing? For about a year now, I've been producing high voltage using different components that mainly include transistors such as MOSFET from my previous ZVS circuit and from my, well, how to make an easy and simplest high voltage you can make. So all of this use transistors inside them. Well, transistor is the most important, well, one of the most important electrical components in any kind of circuitry you find oh yeah and don't forget to share subscribe and comment anything down below and uh well let's proceed so i've been asking this this question a few days ago how can i make a high voltage without using transistors so i've been digging a little and until i found one method that you can produce high voltage without using any kind of well semiconductor and that method is called an ignition system and you may be familiar with it if you are a fan of cars or well, expert in cars. Well, ignition system is mostly found in cars that usually work on petrol, and those cars need high voltage supplies, mainly for the combustion system in their engine. Well, if you're familiar, there are four pistons inside, and each pistons um, have a cycle. We call it intake, compression, explosion, and exhaust. Now, the three process, it can be done, but when there's an explosion, we need high voltage inside there, because when you compress a fuel, and if you want to explode it, you got to heat it inside. What usually is done using a high voltage spark. When you apply spark into a fuel, it explodes or it creates a fiery doom. So this explosion uses a ignition system, which is mainly, uh, again, it's mainly found in petrol cars. But the modern cars usually, well, they, they use a modern circuitry using transistors or even ICs. But digging a little dip, I found that Volkswagens, which is an old car, which works on petrol, uses an ignition system that uses something called contact breaker. As the name indicates, there's a contact and there's a breaker. Once you make a contact, you break it immediately. But why is that necessary? Well, if you know this, transformers transform and roll out. Usually works on AC current, if you all know. If you use direct, it doesn't work. So to make a DC to an AC, very easily all you have to do is well switch on and switch off rapidly and when you repeat it that on and off process it becomes well mostly it becomes a square wave square wave is usually indicated as an ac well if we cancel the half wave and full wave thingy okay now i've uh, for today only i've make the environment well my room dim so you can guys easily see what's going on well as i continue let's create a high voltage arc using only this is connected to a 12 volt battery and when I make contact you can see a spark right there yeah you can hear it yep there is a spark probably about 15,000 volt and it is created by continuously doing this so the spark may not be very uh, visible so I understand but you know, I think you know this method. Now, the question is, how can we make this continuous? So, what I found was that we can use this technology, all technology, the ignition system that I taught earlier, we can, we can create a, well, this kind of alternating switching using a motor. If we mount this switch on a motor, then when the motor spins, then when the motor spins, then the switching well happens so this is exactly what i've done okay guys now i've connected everything and this is the visual representation of the well the ignition system that i found inside a volkswagen now we're gonna connect this into the main source and we're gonna expect a huge gnarly arc in the inside okay now i've connected everything right here now let me show you what i mean by the contact breaker now over there there's a 12 volt battery charger which is well now connected and this is the voltage supply which represents as a well variable resistor and right here is the main ground jewel this is contact breaker now what i've made actually is a motor and then connected to this armature which i found uh, completely damaged but what i want is these gaps because the gaps act as off and when they turn like this, when they are in contact, it becomes on. So the point is, 
when we rotate it, we must have sparks just like this one. You see the sparks? Yeah, this is what we call mechanical switching. Okay, now I'm going to turn this on. Slowly, the voltage rise is going to be really slow. So you guys can comparisonly see the, well, the switching, the switching speed and its frequency. Now, let's turn it on. You can see here, I'm slowly rising it. You can see right there, continuously, continually, well, creating a spark. And right here, there's a spark created. Wow. Okay, now, let's increase the speed a little bit. And see right there, the voltage. Oh, by the way, I'm not tricking you guys. It's just result of direct mechanical switching. You see it? Now we're gonna increase the speed. You see that? Right there. You see? <laughs> it's creating a spark. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Now we're gonna lower it a little bit. See that? Damn. <laughs> it smells like ozone and, well, some smoke. We're gonna increase the voltage. You see? You see, the frequency at which the transformer operates is the same as the, well, the frequency of the switching. You see right here, the same rate, the same type. Wow. Okay, that's great, that's great. Now, let's increase it to maximum, right here on my voltage. Come on. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 don't, don't break, don't break, don't break, shit. Again, for the last time. Whoa, 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 <laughs> damn. Okay, right now I've widened the gap, far gap, and then we're gonna turn it on. Right there, the voltage is increasing. Can you see the sparks? I can see them. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that was amazing. Damn. <laughs> well, I guess you guys, well, learned something about mechanical switching and, well, yada, yada, yada. Well, and also, I hope you enjoyed this, well, new information, by the way. Yeah, so we can use mechanical switching instead of using transistors so uh, to create a high voltage. So, yeah, that's, that's new. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and comment any idea you have down below.